The Avro car was a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft developed in Canada by Avro Aircraft Limited. Its development was part of a secret U.S. military project carried out in the early years of the Cold War. During the Cold War, traditional airport runways were seen as easy targets for an attack. With a fleet of vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, the U.S. could build underground airports protected from Soviet bombers. The Avro car would then, in theory, ascend through a shaft and then zip away at supersonic speeds. The intent of the science behind the vehicle was to use the power of Koanda. This is the tendency of a fluid jet to be attracted to a nearby surface, providing lift and thrust in the form of a single turbo rotor, blowing exhaust out of the rim of the disc-shaped aircraft. One of the best ways to think of it would be thinking of it similar to that of like a, a hovercraft, but much, much faster. The vehicle was meant to be manned by a crew of two people in separate cockpits. The Army planned on utilizing the craft as sort of a flying jeep in a way. In the air, the Avro car distinctly resembled a flying saucer. Two prototypes were built as proof-of-concept test vehicles before building a more advanced United States Air Force fighter. During flight testing, the Avro car displayed thrust and stability problems. The saucer was extremely difficult to fly and had very sensitive controls. One of the test pilots said that flying it was similar to balancing on a beach ball. The Avro car was intended to be that vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that could travel up to Mach 4, but unfortunately, flight speeds only reached 190 kilometers per hour. Many people working on the project felt that they were making salvageable progress, but funding ran out. The project was canceled. September 1961. The National Archives and Records Administration, NARA, is home to a number of records from the Avro Car Project. Some of these records were declassified in the fall of 2012, including schematic drawings and project reports. In the Avro Car Progress Report Films, you can see development and improvement of the vehicle during the period between February 1958 and June 1961. In the final progress report film, they followed the Avro car through a test course containing real-world conditions for navigation. While the vehicle successfully crosses ditches and rough terrain, it turns out that all the dust and debris that got kicked up by the rotor was sucked right back into the disc's air intake, resulting in extremely limited flight time. Though the progress report films demonstrate improvements in the Avro car's design and operation, over a three-year period, by the end of the final film, it's apparent that meeting the project's original goals would require a huge investment in overhauling the entire design. At the end of 1961, the Pentagon canceled the project. If you'd like to see the flying saucer-like Avro car, it's on public display at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. These are Interesting things with JC.